more people that Tony and myself that are that are on my team every Sunday. We're there. I've been with Tampa St. Pete Times for two, two and a half years as a supervisor there. We've never had an incident. Matter of fact, things that go on, we've been an asset to the police department when they come by and ask anything going on. I always try to be a citizen and help. But I'm a taxpayer too. As everyone knows, I'm a college graduate. And I just want to know if you all come and allow this ordinance to pass today. What am I, I have a daughter that will be 14 on next Tuesday. What, what, what am I to tell her? She's already ashamed that I'm out there on Sundays. But she's gotten, she's been able to deal with it. I have a daughter who just turned 11 in the, in the month of December. And thank God you didn't, you didn't band us then because I was able to provide Christmas presents. But I want you to tell me who's going to pay my TICO bill, who's going to take care of my water bill next week. You know? It's easy for people to make decisions because of elections and things going on. It's about doing the right thing right now. While you're in office, do the right thing. Don't make a decision on pressures of what other people are saying. But when you know you're doing the right thing, for people to be able to survive, to make it. You all have an income. Just put yourself in my shoes for one minute. No one is better than anybody. I have just as much college education, parents with, that are teachers. I come from an educated background, but it's the economy. It is what it is right now. The homeless people are there. Thank God I don't, I'm not on the streets yet. Yet. But I expect you all to do the right thing and not take us off the street because someone says they, they don't want to see a drunk person. There are some bad apples, but don't put us in that whole bunch. Don't put us in that bunch. And then, to, then if you take us off the street, the next week I'll be right here and say, help me pay my bills. Thank you.